Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do the Mac O Tools Flyer. Man, I just did the Mac Tools Flyer. I rambled on forever, it felt like, man. And I just kept talking and talking and it's probably gonna be long. I'm gonna try to edit it down. I'm gonna try not to talk that much in this one. Like I said in that one, man, I, I don't wanna just be so bland to where it's just, here's this, here's that, here's this. I wanna try to talk too. Plus, you know, I talk a lot, <laughs> so I can't help it, man. I'm gonna do the best I can, though. We're gonna go through this real quick, and like I said in the other video, I was gonna do a tool review video this weekend, but I have to take out and replace the transmission like a O2 Tahoe, I think it is, so I may try to tape that and post a video of that. Probably won't be till next week till I can get that out, though. And I don't know though because I, I only have a limited amount of time that I have to get it done and it does take more time, believe it or not, videoing it. I don't know what it is. It does, it takes a lot more time for some reason. I just setting up camera angles and talking and it just seems like it takes a lot more time. But you know, I have other stuff I need to try to do this weekend as well and try to do that. I have to work tomorrow, so it's going to be a busy weekend, to say the least. It's going to be a, a lot of sleepless nights, but I do want to bust these out. I do want to get some videos out this week, man. So let's go ahead and start this. We got on the front the 3 h stubby push-button impact wrench. They claim 600 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. We've seen the Mac Tools 3 8 impact, but I don't think that was a stubby. But they claim 700 on theirs. This is claiming 600. As I said... In the other video, the Mac Tools half inch air impact is the best hands down air impact I've ever used. It's a monster. I promise you that. It is expensive, yes, but like I said too, I don't skimp on air tools or cordless tools. I want the best, even if it costs me a lot. Now, granted, money doesn't always equal quality. We know that, but. If it is a quality tool and it costs a lot, then I don't mind spending the money. And I know a lot of people are the same and some people ain't. You know, it just all depends on what you do with them. You know, your your financial situation. It depends on a lot of things, you know. Personal preference in a lot of cases as well. So, they don't give a price on the cover. So, we'll have to flip inside to look at it. But on the bottom, they have 12-piece stubby impact set. 5750 and 26 piece standard and deep impact socket set 144.95 let's flip in there's the 3 8 stubby push button impact wrench 329.95 now they're saying up here a two-year warranty comes with that you know that, that that's a pretty good warranty for air tool i think ingersoll usually gives you a year so two years is pretty good they don't give us other, any other information but they are Focusing in on that push button forward and reverse feature, which, as you know, with the Ingersolls and a lot of other air tools, the back allow you to push right or left to go forward or reverse. And I do actually like that a lot better than a lot of the other ways that they have out there. I actually do like the push button in the back a lot better. You don't hit it as often, it's not accidental, it's easier to do with one hand, so I, I actually prefer the push button back. Now here we got a mini floodlight rechargeable, save 20%, it's 500 lumens they're claiming, but 109.95, you know, that's pretty expensive for that. Then we got a rechargeable pocket light burgundy, 42.50, 200 lumens. Buy this 5S Triple Bay 28 inch toolbox with power. Now they say it's five custom boxes. You can pick your color. Convenience power on front with 110 volt and USB power, 232 pound roller bearing slides, fully welded T shaped center shelf. So you buy that. It says make it a Matco summer. Buy the box above and get great Matco gear below for free. They have featured down here the Matco ceramic grill or the burgundy. Matt go pop up tent. They value the tent at four forty nine. They value the grill at six twenty seven fifty. And as I said in the other video, man, every time I, I like Mac O toolboxes, and every time I get on the Mac O truck, I look at that toolbox that he's got on there, and man, it's it's beautiful, you know. And I keep talking myself out of it, trying to get the credit, you know. But I know how I am, man. 
and at some point I'm going to pull the trigger. You know, it is what it is, man. I, you know, it's a lot of money, as I said, but it's, you know, you only live once, man. You can't take it with you, I guess. So eventually I'll be probably video rolling it in here and I'll probably be putting a 72 inch Harbor Freight box on the market. Try to get some of my money back for that. It's a pretty good box. I mean, I have I don't really have many complaints about it. But the Mac O box, you know, I mean, I, I look at it and I want it. So we'll see, man. I may be able to refrain. I may be able to talk myself out of it, but I know how I am. And you know, if I'm gonna do it, man, maybe now's the time. Maybe I could get me a, a ceramic grill or a pop-up tent with it. <laughs> I'm just playing. I, who knows what I'll do, man. I'm, I'm not, I'm not right when it comes to stuff like that. All right, we got the long barrel air hammer kit, two ninety two fifty. As I said in the other video with the pickle forks, I'm gonna actually do a video on air hammer, man. It's a tool you need. I promise you. I love it. You know, there's so many different things you can do with them, but I'm going to do a video on it. If, if, you, if you know, then you already know. If you don't know, then stick around, man. When I do that video, then you're, you're, you're going to know. You're going to see. It's worth it. It's worth the money to buy a good one as well. Now, I actually have the Ingersoll Air Hammer at work, long barrel, and it's a kit. I don't remember how much I paid for it to something, man, but it's it's worth it. It's a great air hammer. Great air hammer. $292 for this one. Does I mean, if it's good, I would pay that in a heartbeat. Then we got the 12 volt cordless 3H drill driver kit. 0 to 400 low speed, 0 to 1600 high speed. It looks like this comes with one battery and a charger with a little bag for. $266.95, so that's pretty expensive for a 3H drill. And like I said in the other video, I don't know how they why they sell these tool truck cordless tools so much. And and you know, they sell a lot of their stuff a lot, but you know, there's some really good cordless tools out there. I like to see actually how they compare to the Milwaukee's, the DeWalt's, and see if they're any good. But man, that would dig deep into my pocket to have to go onto the Matco truck and buy a seven hundred dollar half inch impact then have to turn around and buy a $500 Milwaukee impact. Then I turn around and buy a $350 DeWalt impact. You know, it would go on and on and on. That's a lot of money to do a video, but you know, maybe I will, who knows, man. Stick around, you'll have to just hang out and see how crazy I get with this. Stainless steel swivel adapter, $34.50. This is actually a separate page that was inside the book. So let's go over this page real quick. We got the five piece 40th anniversary tool roll set, Knipex, Nipex, Nipex, however you want to say it. I'm with you on all three of them, but all I know is they're my favorite pliers, hands down. Highest quality pliers on the market. I always link them down below, and this will be no different. I'll link them down below. If you're interested in looking at them, you can find them for some really good prices on Amazon. And as I said before, they are affiliate links, which means that if you click on them and you buy that product or any other product, then they will give me a small commission at no extra cost to you. And with that commission, all I do is use it to buy a $700 Matco cordless impact, a $500 Milwaukee impact to try to do a video to try to entertain you, you know, obviously I'm not going to get rich off doing that and it may only offset the price by 10 cents, <laughs> but hey, it's, it's something. So their price on this is $329.95, which is pretty expensive because I guarantee I could find all five of those for you on Amazon for probably... 180 200 dollars maybe i'm guessing but i bet you it's a lot less than that minus the roll if you can live without that roll then i'll find you better deals if you're looking for it so just check down below but with this they do give you this for free and that is those are nice that doesn't change my opinion on this deal but those are nice i actually am going to do a video about organizing pliers because i love pliers i like to own a bunch of pliers i like to own all the pliers and there are different ways to organize them and i'll show you my favorite way when i do the video then we got the Matco Bluetooth speaker set, $74.95. As I said in the Mac Tools video, I just got the Skull 
Bluetooth speaker on order so it'll be here we'll check that out I think it looks pretty cool but with this here you get two for $74.95 so that may be a pretty good deal heavy duty mechanic seat with real tree print so if you're into real tree that could be for you $119.95 for a seat you know I, I can't see myself paying that for a seat but a lot of people probably can't see themselves paying you know, $10,000 for a toolbox, which I, I can understand that completely because I really can't see myself paying that much for it. But who knows, man? Like I said, I'm kind of crazy when it comes to stuff like that. Now we got the Rat Fink Red 4-Drawer Heavy Duty Service Cart, $879.95. So if you like the Rat Fink thing they got going on, that's a pretty cool car, $879.95. Pretty decent price. Those are pretty good tool carts. If you like the drawer handles and setup, I... You know, I'm torn in between them. I love the Mako toolboxes, but the carts, I, I'm torn on them. I actually was considering purchasing one, but I don't know if I'm going to go with that. I kind of like the Mac Tools carts better. So we'll see. We'll see where that goes. I actually considered purchasing these four wrenches for $149.95, but I didn't. They're just jumbo reversible ratcheting wrenches. So that's a pretty good price, in my opinion, for those four. It is... 21 22 24 and 25 millimeters so they are bigger but i need bigger wrenches quite a lot for what i do for a living so those would come in handy okay then we got the 12 piece extra long metric set these are not reversible ratcheting but they are ratcheting they're extra long obviously as the name states for 219.95 for 12 wrenches you know you know, I mean, fit about fifteen dollars a piece. You know, you it, they're, they're worth it to me. I like wrenches. I like to buy high quality wrenches. So I own Snap On wrenches and I own Maco wrenches. Don't own any Mac Tools wrenches, but I will own some. Obviously, because I gotta complete the stupidity. You know, I can't just be stupid here. I gotta be just stupid all around, man. You know, but that's just me. Okay. This is actually really interesting. I've never seen this before. If you have seen it, let me know down in the comments because I think this is pretty interesting. It's an easy soldering clamp. This will actually hold your wires in place and that button pushes up and solders your wires for you. Pretty neat, pretty cool. If it works good, pretty awesome. If you know if it works, let us know. If you know if it don't work, let us know, especially <laughs> so nobody wastes their money. Now we got the 3H drive, 18 inch, 88 tooth, fixed chrome ratchet. You can get that for $127.50. Here's some socket sets. We got the 3H drive, 10 piece, 10 to 19 millimeter, 3H drive impact set. You buy that, you get the quarter inch drive, 12 piece metric set for free. So $179.95 for both sets. So you're looking at $90 per set. You know, that's reasonable to me. Might not be to you, but it is to me. And it is probably to a lot of people too. But as I've said in my Harbor Freight videos, man, them Harbor Freight impact sockets are unquestionably the best budget impact socket set that there is on the market, in my opinion. And I've used them a lot. And I know a lot of people that have used them a lot and they're good. So I recommend that if you're looking for impact sockets you just go ahead and just go buy those for twenty dollars and call it a day and you they'll last you for a long time and we got the body file folder with knife medium cut file 110 50 I don't know mini utility knife with retractable blade and auto loading 1750 Two bend mirror adapters, 15 millimeter width, 2850. We got the air power cooling system pressure tester. So that's obviously a specialty tool that you know you're probably going to need if you're working on automobiles. It's something I need myself, and I don't need. I don't work on cars professionally, but I'd like to at some point on my own business. So hopefully that dream comes to reality which i'm working at it and i'm not going to give up until it does so yes it will eventually we got power steering evacuator kit 5450 all right as i said in the mac tools video where we talked about the 
inductive heater that heats bolts using inductive heat instead of flame. This is the equivalent in the Maco book. And in the MacBook, it was $590, so this is $90, or, so this is $9 more than the MacBook. But as I said, if you can afford that, I mean, in my opinion, you have to have something like that. Because if you've ever been in a situation where you've had to heat bolts, which 99% of you guys have, I'm sure, and if you haven't yet, you will eventually, that is something that you really need but it is expensive it's not like something it's not like something you can you can't live without but it's something that would be nice to have let me put it that way here's the coil kit for the mini doctor 149.50 different size coils flex fit hats like I said before I'm not a big fan of the Maco hats I do like the Mac tool hats a lot better and the Mac tool clothes a lot better than the Mac goes. Now we got a technician multimeter here, 125.50. Then we got the timing light here, digital timing lights, Innova. Thanks how you pronounce the name. If not, somebody will correct me. So correct me down there if I'm wrong. And 203.50. I actually have this timing light. So this is the same timing light as you see there. And I paid, as you can see here, Innova, however you pronounce it. I'll wait for you guys to correct me, man. I know you love correcting. Not all of you. I'm just messing around. Focus. Come on. There it is. Innova. I pay like $70 for mine, so it's not red. You know, it's not a Matco special one. But it's the same thing for a third of the price. So it's up to you, man, whether you want to spend that or not. In my opinion, just buy it elsewhere. Things like that. And a lot of things from the tool trucks. Man, you can buy it, just buy it cheaper somewhere else. You know, the tool truck drivers, I understand they do got to make a living. And they do, you know, have to mark the tools up to sell them. They buy the tools from Mac, Maco, Snap-on, and then they sell them. They got to make money too. And I understand that, you know. But on the same hand, they have to understand that I need to take care of myself and my family too. And I can't afford to always pay them triple the price, you know. Take it how you want to take it. We got the 12, 24, and 36 volt conductance battery tester, 299, 95, 50. Hi-Fi stethoscope, 26, 50. Not sure if that's like something better <laughs> than a regular stethoscope. I don't know. Maybe it is. But 26, 50, I wouldn't be shy to spend that to find out. And we got two lead retractable lead, two different ones, 34, 50, 42, 50. Okay, now this is the bolt extractors, rounded bolts and nuts extractor set. They're saying $135.95 for the standard, $132.95 for the metric. If you don't have a set of them, you do need to get you a set of them. And I actually do want to do a video about removing rounded nuts and bolts just for fun because there's a million other ones out there, I'm sure, but maybe I can, you know do it a little better <laughs> or you know give give some just sort of different point of view or something and maybe i can help somebody so but there are a lot of good sets out there and i would just buy these sets erwin it's probably what those are and you know you're going to save yourself a lot of money those erwins work just as good as them i guarantee it but they're claiming that you could watch it on their Mac o Tools YouTube channel and see them in action, or you could just hang out and watch it on my YouTube channel and see it in action. You know, I'm just joking, but I would like to actually try them out. Maybe I will. Maybe I will see if they're any better than these Irwins. And I actually have a set of Craftsman bolt extractors as well. Maybe, maybe we could throw those in the mix, see if any of them do any better or not. But the Irwins have always done good for me. And I'll link them down below. The prices are not that expensive, really. Because when it comes to time that you need them, you'll wish you spent the $30, $40, $50. And we got a flexible micro magnetic pickup tool. 
$14.95. Not a bad price, worth it. If even if it's not very good, it's 15 bucks. Then we got the Subaru Ball Joint Extractor, 45, 50. So another specialty tool that if you work on Subarus you need, or if you have the possibility that a Subaru could pull up and you're gonna have to work on it, then you know you could call your Mako guy or whatever and have them bring it, or you can already have it sitting there waiting and take care of your customer, and they'll come back and you can keep making money and everybody will be happy. So okay, so we have here a rechargeable drum pump for fuel and water, three eighty one fifty. So it's a pump that you don't have to do manually with a handle, and it's rechargeable, $381.95. So, you know, if you had to use that on a steady basis and you didn't want to buy the manual one, then you could buy that. I don't know the price difference, but, you know, I guess it's just going to all depend on if you want to manually pump it or not. <laughs> okay, here we are. Now we're getting into something here. This is the 12 volt power supply jump starter kit at $299.95. They're claiming you save $50. And here it is live. <laughs> I, went, I decided, all right. So there's something else in here that when we get to, I'll show you. I went to see the Mac O Man today and I said in the other video that I spent money again, you know, and. You know, you guys know my pain. I'm sure a lot of you guys know my pain. But I did need a jump box. And I've been looking at a jump box. I've been looking for jump boxes. And I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. I've woke up my truck being dead a couple times. And I kick myself. And I say, man, why didn't you just buy the jump box? You know. So I went ahead and I bought it, man. You know, this is something that I feel like you should have in your garage not necessarily saying you need to spend $299 on one of these. There are a lot of cheaper alternatives that work good. But for me, at the time, this makes the most sense to purchase this because one, I don't have to pay it all up front, obviously. And two, a feature that I like is it's got a light. So if you're in the dark, you need to jump your car, truck, whatever, Pretty, pretty cool to have a nice little LED light right there to help you. And for emergencies, you have it with you. Got a little strobe, and you turn it off. Now, these cords, or these, these leads are 16 foot, I believe. And you see here, it's got the digital display. What the hell? All right, hold on, guys. Hey, baby. Hey. What are you doing? Okay, sorry about that. That was that was my woman, so I had to answer. And, you know, I wanted to answer, obviously. So, okay, back to this. I don't remember exactly where I was or where I was going with the point, but I'll just finish what I was going to say. And this is two, the leads on these, I believe, are 16 feet long. And like I said, it's $299, $99.50, and it is expensive. There are some cheaper options. I'm not sure if Harbor Freight has a jump box of this caliber or not, but as I said, the LED display, it has the LED lights here. It also has two USB ports, a 2.1 amp port, and a 1.1 amp port. It has the car lighter plug in to charge it with on the go and this does come with a one-year warranty within 30 days you could return it to your driver to get a new one and within a year you have to actually send it to Matco to have it fixed or replaced or whatever they have to do to it but after that year it actually comes with this it is a coupon that no matter how long when or what condition the box is in at any time if they claim you could run this over with a truck anything you could send this coupon and it has to be this original coupon with a hundred dollars with the box and they will either 
give you a refurbished one, fix, repair, whatever they got to do to get you another one of these boxes in working order. So pretty much you get a one-time shot for $100 to get one of these that works like new or get this fixed to where it works good again. So for $100, that's pretty that's pretty good. You know, so basically, you know, basically you got a one-time lifetime warranty on this thing after a year. And the accessories this comes with it obviously comes with the charger for your uh, lighter, for your car lighter. You see it's a double lead here. You plug it in there, plug it in your lighter. Comes with the, the cord. This here is perhaps one of the most important things. It is a memory saver, a OBD2 memory saver. You actually, on these newer cars, you have to plug, say for instance, you need to unhook the battery. If you want to hook the battery on one of these newer cars, it's going to it's going to lose memory. It's going to shut everything down. Radio won't work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like nothing's going to work. So what you actually have to do is you can plug this into this into the OBD2 port in the car. You can unhook the battery, do what you got to do, and this will allow the car to keep its memory. So then you won't have to worry about having to get everything reset or whatever the car will go back to exactly the way it was or it will stay exactly the way it is i should say so that there if you work on cars especially newer cars you need to have that you need to have something like this if you ever have any hopes of like opening your own business or doing anything like this could be i mean even if you want to start a business say like a you know a little towing company or something you'd have to have something like this how many people call their cars you know won't start their battery's dead, this, that. You know, you got to be able to get keys out of cars. You got to be able to jump somebody's car. Bam, now you got it. You can do any car. So that, to me, you know, is worth paying the extra money. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what Harbor Freight's got going on on the jump box side. Maybe they got something to combat this. Maybe they do have something that has the OBD2 memory saver. You know, who knows? So if you do know, <laughs> you may know. If you do know, let me know down in the comments. Let us all know. Let us know what's going on if you know of another good, cheaper option like this. Matter of fact, now that I sit and think about it, Harbor Freight does have a jump box. Maybe I can get it. Maybe we can compare it to this. Who knows? Who knows what we're going to do, man? It's going to get crazy. <laughs> we, just have to, we just have to stick around and find out, man. But back to our books, man. We had the phone calls and everything else. And, and, and of course, I'm rambling again, man. I'm trying. I'm promising. I'm trying. I'm trying. So let's go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Right here, we got a two-pack cleaning baskets, $42.50. Then we got low-profile oil truck drain, $699.95. This evacuates waste oil collected in the reservoir tank. Flexible impeller design electric pump enables it to pump high viscosity fluid at high flow rate up to six gallons per minute. So that could be something a shop needs, you need, anybody can need. Not anybody, obviously, you know, but it is something you would need if you was in, you know, the automotive bit of auto repair business or oil changes, anything of that nature, you probably would need something like that. Now, me personally, right now, as I stand, that is like something that's not so far off the list that I, I've, I've never even thought about something like that. But maybe one day I may need to think about something like that. But as for now, let's get back here. We got the Chrysler GM Harmonic Pulley Puller, $131.95. Now, this is crazy, man. You have to pretty much man, buy a pulley puller for every car, you know? So you're going to need five pulley pullers. But that's crazy to me. So this one here is $131.95. Then we have the Camaro 3-liter harmonic damper pulley puller update kit, $49.50. So it's got some other hooks, update kit, I don't know. Then we got the expansion kit, $53.95. Then we got the Dodge 5.7 liter and 3.5 liter puller, $134.50. Then we got the Camaro 3.6 liter puller, $136.50. So as you see, 
more cars you work on, more specific tools you got to buy. Then we got the Oakleys. So if you want to look cool, get your sunglasses on, then got to get you some Oakleys, man. Me personally, I would lose them. <laughs> so I, I, I can't justify spending $200 on a pair of sunglasses that I'm going to leave somewhere or forget about or scratch up or never wear. You know, I'd be, I'd be scared to death to go anywhere with those because I'd be, you know, I know I'm going to lose them and I'm going to might as well just throw $200 down the drain. I skipped one. This is a Tiny Gear Holder Kit 122.50. So I'm sure a lot of you knows knows what those do. I'll just skip on here. It's a three-piece propane torch quick change kit, one sixty-one fifty. All right, this is a five-eight carbide scraper for twenty-eight fifty. I actually would like to have that. That's for scraping old head gasket material, and whatnot, and for twenty-eight fifty, you know, I need one of those, and I'm gonna get one very soon all right we got the two-piece hose remover and installer set for 51.95 this is actually a pretty good deal i just bought the half inch digital torque wrench that we talked about a few weeks ago that i paid 650 dollars for or something some crazy outrageous price that i you know that I'm sure people call me stupid for, but that's fine. Now we got the 3 8 This is the click style torque wrench, however. 72 tooth. And it is also the fixed head, whereas mine is the flex head. Now they call it the flex head, but there isn't much flex in the head, but there is enough to where it does help. But you buy this for $328.85, and they do give you a 12 piece 3 8 drive metric six point mid length chrome socket set with it they value that at 238.95 so if you was in the market for a 3 8 click style torque wrench you could get you some free sockets with it which i actually do need a 3 8 torque wrench i don't know if i would get a click style but if i was going to get a click style then i'd have to get that because i mean some free sockets with it i'll take it and 328.50 is expensive. You know, actually, you know, they got the new Icon torque wrenches. I actually would like to try those out. I think those look pretty nice. And as I said before, Rear Tour Reviews did do a video on the Icon break, torque wrench, comparing it to the Snap-on, Mac, Mac O, whatnot. And, and according to his video, it was actually more accurate in some cases, maybe in all cases. I can't remember exactly, but, you know, so maybe it is better. I don't know. Now we got the Knipex, Nipex, Nipex Cobra plier set right here for, okay, this is the pump plier set. If you don't know what the pump plier set is, if we look at the Knipex Cobra pliers, Nipex Cobra pliers, Nipex Cobra pliers, we see the little push button that locks this in place. The pump pliers, what it actually do is I could pull it down, and if I have my fastener right in here, I could actually push the handle up, and this will go up until it meets the fastener and locks in place. Otherwise, I have to hold it there and find it or pull off and guess. So the pump pliers are pretty cool in that aspect and is not is a nice feature that I actually like. I don't actually own any pump pliers yet, but I will own some because I'd actually like to own every pair of knipex knipex nipex pliers that were made just because now we got the seven piece double end angle wrench set that's going to come in at 117.50 this is the standard set from 7 16 up to three quarters this has a 60 and a 30 degree angle so it's one wrench half inch on both sides 5 16 on both sides etc with an angle of 30 degrees and an angle of 60 degrees. This is the 3 8 drive 12 inch locking flex head chrome ratchet for 138.50, 88 teeth. This is the half inch drive 24 inch fixed chrome ratchet, 186.95. It's nice to have a long half inch ratchet. Me myself, I prefer the comfort grip. My hands are bigger. Plus, I feel like 
I can get a better hold of it. I feel like that my hand slips less and all around it's just a more comfortable experience for me to use the comfort grip. At one time, I actually would prefer Chrome over the comfort grip, but I've gotten softer in my old age. Next we have this Matco alarm clock. That's actually pretty cool looking. Old school looking. I actually probably would like to own that just because I think it looks cool. Then we got the vintage soda machine, $219.95. Lifestyle watch, lifestyle watch set, $35.95. Looks like it comes with different bands or you can buy. It comes with one watch face and three interchangeable bands. So for $35.50, you get the face and you can switch up the colors depending on what outfit you got on, you know, what shoes you're wearing. You could be styling, man. We all got to be styling, right? <laughs> all right. All right, here we got the Harley Davidson wall mount opener, $35.95. BHD flame shot glass, $35.95. CHD margarita set, $84.95. DHD etched rock glass set, $69.95. Rat Fink shirt, Rat Fink red mug, two thumbs up, Rat Fink t-shirt, <laughs> Rat Fink tank die cast. Okay, so they Rat Finking it up, son. I don't know how you feel about the Rat Fink, but I don't know much about them. Okay, we're getting to the clothes now. As before, I'm just going to scan through. There ain't much clothes, so this shouldn't take long. Seems like Mako's more kind of got a different style to me i mean like like that shirt like i mean i guess if you wear you know there ain't nothing wrong with it but for me i got a different style i just wear plain stuff i'm i'm a working man i guess man i don't know got some women's clothes and a cute little onesie for the baby this is a banner i'm actually going to call me and my buddies both i'm going to get this so this will be hanging up in a future video i think it's pretty cool banners three by five 21 95 90 21 90 <laughs> so looks pretty cool i'm gonna hang it up you know i gotta know i got a bunch of banners and stuff in here but i think it looks cool in the video plus i want to do you know there's some other stuff i want to do too that i'm going to start adding more i wish i had more room to make things look you know cooler and you know kind of more kind of be a better experience better viewing experience for you guys and there's you know like i said there's a few things i want to do is particularly i like to build some type of shelf or some type of system to where i could put all my cordless tools up for, you know for show with some kind of lighting or something well we'll see we'll see in the future that's just something in the future but for 21.90 i'm gonna call tell them get me one and my buddy one so it'll be two of them now this man I was talking about this on the Mack truck because oh, I couldn't believe it. It is a Matco cheese box with utensils. So I guess if you like cheese, man, you know, why wouldn't you want to serve your guests a cheese platter on a Matco cheese box? <laughs> I don't know, man. If you're into that, bro, I'm not dogging you at all. It's you know, it's all it's all fun. You know, I'm glad you enjoy it for real. Okay. Let's zoom out. Okay, so I spoke earlier when I bought the jump box that there was something else that I was wanting to get. And I had to decide between the jump box and that. This is what I was talking about. I actually was going to get one of these because I actually could use one of these at work. I would like to have that one of these because it's as small as mobile. There's not much room in it, which is what I wanted because when I'm out working, man, I have a bad habit of grabbing a tool, going to use it, getting in a hurry, setting that tool down, going to grab another tool, using it, setting it down in a different spot, setting down over here, doing this, doing that. And I spend so much time looking for tools. It's crazy. And it, it drives me crazy. And you would think that I would think at some point, like, bro, put your tools back up. But for some reason, man, I get such a hurry, I get focused that keeping track of my tools is the last thing on my mind. But with that being said, man, that is another thing I like about owning expensive tools, expensive wrenches, expensive ratchets, because you tend to 
keep an eye on that stuff, man. I'm not going to, I'll lay a Pittsburgh 39 cent wrench down and could care less what happens to that thing. Now, if I have a snap on $25 wrench in my hand, I'm going to make sure that I put that wrench back where it goes. So that is an advantage, you know, you know, take it how you want to take it, man. It is an advantage in my, in my opinion, but we can see here the price of this. 258 57 that's not a bad price for that. It's a locking lid. It has a locking lid and drawer, a three inch deep bottom shelf, four casters with two locking, non-locking, non and it's 35.3 by 30 by 16.7. So it's not humongous, but it's not real small either. And you see here it comes with multiple colors here. I was actually either debating on the black or the blue. Now, you do save quite a bit off the regular price. They're claiming you save $139. So economically, it would have been smarter for me to go ahead and purchase this if I plan on purchasing it in the long run because I only save $50 with the box. But with that being said, I, could, I have more use for that jump box right now today than I do for this right now today. So I made the decision to go ahead and get the box and put off getting this to later or maybe not at all so anyway man i've been rambling on again man i apologize for that but i'm gonna go ahead and this wrap this up real quick as with the other one i'm gonna edit it down as short as i can i'm gonna try to cut some of the rambling down and i appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate it if you go down and subscribe because i'm gonna be doing more videos like this including tour reviews projects tips tricks and more so i hope you stick around Till next time, take it easy.